Hey, welcome back. I always, I, I did talk a lot about not doing the, I always talk about this. Saying the, oh, nobody's watching thing. Can I swim? Swim. Oh, no, no, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I did that yesterday. I was like, oh, nobody's watching. And a couple months ago, I was like, oh, a couple people might watch. So you shouldn't say that. But now nobody's watching. I got a view today on my video. It was six seconds. Ah. Huh, huh. So, there you go. That's why I'm allowed to say it. Because nobody is watching. Okay, so what was my note? I have a note that says, Trump Anthony Twilight Zone. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Uh, that's not the note I was talking about. Uh, there was a Reddit thing. Reddit can be kind of terrible too. But I like the Reddit people sometimes. They're good. Like, there was this dumb article with this dumb headline like, I mean, I agree with it, but the article has like one of those stupid headlines like, Democrats are proposing a bill to, uh, for Supreme Court term limits, and this is what we all need right now, or something stupid like that. Those stupid headlines. Um, and the top comment was like, um, yeah, that might help, but it's not a cure-all. Like, there's probably better solutions. And I liked, I just liked the way they handled it because they weren't like, yeah, we need this. Everybody's got it. Or they weren't like, this is so stupid. They're like, <laughs> they were in, in between, which is where you're supposed to be. Because that's where people, that's where you think, okay, what does this mean? Will this help? Should we do it anyway? Stuff like that. So what did he say? That wouldn't totally solve the problem. His ex he had an explanation that I think made sense. He was saying something like it wouldn't get rid of the partisan nature of the court. It would just um, where basically whoever's in power in the Senate gets to gets gets to block nominations or approve them. So this is cool. You're supposed to be like, oh, he's so smart. He's luring them out, the zombies. I like this uh, part of the game. It's fun. It's hard, but it's fun. Ooh. So the best idea I saw, I kind of want to read this in the comments to fix the problem. Which is assuming there's a problem, which I think most people, <clears throat> like a majority of people, agree there's like a problem with the court and how it works. Uh, oh, that hurt. That one hurt. I remember this area being really hard, so let's see what happens. I think I'll just use a shotgun or something. Uh... The idea was to expand the court um, to 19 justices. And have a new nomination every year. Every year, I don't know, December 1st or whatever. Whoever's president, 
December 1st would be a bad time to do it. <laughs> July 1st. <laughs> um, gets to nominate a new justice. And so that way you have 19 year term limits and whoever's on the back, they, they rotate to the federal courts, just like a lower court. And whoever gets nominated gets a 19 year term. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I mean, I don't know anything about anything, so maybe it's a terrible idea, but there's no reason to me why the court has to be nine people. Maybe there's a good reason why it's not, why like 19 is too many. I don't know what that would be. I haven't heard anybody say like the reason why it shouldn't be too much. Um, I mean, the Senate has 50 people, and, well, they don't really get anything done, so that's not a good point. <laughs> okay, see, this is, this is not good. Oh, is he dead? That was easy. I think easy mode's a little bit too easy. It's okay. I just want to talk. That's the most important thing. I remember that being really hard. Jump. <laughs> this is fun. I should take jumping car to car. <laughs> ah. So that's a much better solution than whatever my dumb thing I mentioned last week, which was like, I don't know, that there's like a 10th justice and then we vote on him or something. Like a popular vote. That's stupid. Why did I say that? I like the fact that if, if there's a new justice every year, then there isn't this anxiety like, oh my god, the next 30 years we're going to have this person. <laughs> it, there's just like a lot of anxiety with the Supreme Court right now, and I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon unless we fix it. And re the Republicans are going to get the anxiety next if Biden's elected for eight years and he starts getting picks. Um, or if, like I mentioned last week, if Trump gets elected and <clears throat> the Democrats get a majority in the Senate, they're not going to let him nominate anybody ever. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> right there. Go, 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 go. It was fine. Hit the pressure up. Ready to get him. Oh. We got you, Pendejo. I have something to say after this next cutscene, and I'm worried I'm going to forget it, so remind me. That's about Manny, so... Uh, don't let me forget. Where is he? You can't kill him, so you don't have to waste your bullets. Oh! <clears throat> the idea... So, <laughs> I have another note. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but... I remember in the Uncharted games, they always used to say, it's like the game designers would say, the red meter around your health when you get shot at is like your luck meter. <laughs> and when you die, it's when your luck runs out and a bullet actually hits you. But that doesn't make sense here because he shot me and I flew backwards. So I got hit by that bullet and I'm fine. <laughs> so where's your realism there? Ah, 
gonna kill that guy. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so killing Manny does make <clears throat> this next fight more intense. There's a part of killing him that I don't really like. That's the note I want to say. But it does make this intense. Like, oh, this guy is for real. He can kill me. This is intense. I don't remember. Just use the flamethrower, not a shotgun. No, I don't want to swap it. No, 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 no. But swap the ammo. Okay, good. I don't remember this fight. What I'm supposed to do. Oh, I don't think there is a fight. You just go out here. Oop. I think Abby recognized him. It was Tommy. He was so cool shooting. I thought there was a longer cutscene. Um. Where is everyone? No guards? We don't use this corner of the island. Um, yeah, just like, so obviously everybody's dying. <clears throat> we saw Manny die. We saw Owen die. We saw Mel die. We saw... We have to catch up what's, uh... Do you know where he's going? To our house. What's his name? That's where our mom will be. How far is it? Oh, the guy from the beginning, I forget his name. Is it Danny? That doesn't sound right. What about your people? We'll take back trails. They won't see us. Um that guy dies. He dies uh when you're in the movie place and uh Abby shoots him. So everybody's dying. Are you sure the wolves are attacking tonight? I think that's supposed to make you feel yeah, my friends told me. Um Well, it's supposed to be more real, like, if this was actually happening, if there was actually this kind of a war happening between these groups, people would be dying a lot more. <laughs> you're, just because you're the main character and you have friends doesn't mean they're going to survive. They just die. That's what it's like when you're fighting people. And it's not dramatic. You're just standing there, and then the next second... Manny gets shot in the head and you have to just keep moving. When it comes to telling a story, the viewer starts to feel a little bit like dead inside <laughs> because you can't keep getting emotionally sad for these people dying because it just keeps happening. 
And I think that's the point. Um, that feeling that you get where like you don't even Abby. care when people are dying Abby's anymore. Wife. Just in case. Um, it feels like it's intentional that that's how they're making you feel. What's that do? Oh, I have 200. I should be using those things. Uh, sure. Sure. No, 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 no. I don't know. What's this one? Nah, I don't care. What's this one? Oh, do that one. <clears throat> so that's obviously the point, and it is interesting as a story in a story because it's like a new thing, and I've never really experienced that before. Where just like every character is just dying. Um, but when you get to the end of the game, you do feel kind of. You're just like exhausted or something. I don't know. It's not. It's just. I don't know. Like no spoilers, but it's just. It's not satisfying because you're just like everything is. I don't know. I can't. I don't. I don't want to spoil anything. I guess you don't deserve this. I mean, more people die than have died already. I won't say who, but obviously you could tell by the way the game is going, everybody's dying. <laughs> um. Whoa. <clears throat> oh, I have to end there. Uh, well, you can finish your conversation. That's why I was kind of thinking this would be a much better, if this was a second part of a trilogy, I wish they would say like, we're going to do a third game. I feel like that the ending of this game, people would appreciate it a lot more and I think it would, it is kind of like, I mean, everybody always makes this analogy, but it is kind of like an empire. Uh, strikes back kind of ending where it's you just you just feel a little bit uh, cold at the end like the hopeless or I don't know I was trying to tie that into everybody dying all the time and so I didn't like that but if there's a third game there should be I'm there really should be I don't if I'm kind of spoiling it but The way this game plays, it really plays like a second chapter in a three-part story. And if this is the end of the story, it doesn't feel great. That's, that's all I'll say. They do end this game where like, it's not like a cliffhanger or anything. I guess Empire is a little bit of a cliffhanger. This game doesn't really have a cliffhanger. Like, there aren't any questions or anything for Ellie to do that she needs to do. Like, we need a third game because she's got unfinished business. That doesn't really happen. Um, which is good. I wouldn't like that either. A cliffhanger in a game, though. I don't know if I've ever seen that. That might be interesting. Now that I think about it, I think <laughs> I think I might like that. What if there was a... I don't think I've ever seen that. That would be kind of cool. Cliffhangers can be fun. <clears throat> if they're done well. 
which is hard to do now. You have to overcome that feeling of, oh, they just want me to buy the next game, so they had to leave a cliffhanger. But if you, if you can get over that, and the end of the game is still satisfying, even if there's a cliffhanger, then it's like, <laughs> but you have to wait like six years for the next game to come out. That would be pretty crazy. I've never, and maybe they're, maybe I'm forgetting something, but the more I think about it, the more I think it would have been cool if they left this game on a, on a really cool cliffhanger. And then they had a, they had an end screen that was like, Ellie will, Ellie will return next year in The Last of Us Part 3. <laughs> Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>